Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Golf Swing Gazette. Uh, this week I want to talk about uh, correcting your mistakes. Um, it's one of the most important lessons. As a matter of fact, uh, Jim Fleck said that the most important lesson that he taught Jack Nicholas was to be self-sufficient and how to learn to correct his own mistakes because that got him uh, more progress during the round because he can just correct, correct his mistakes right away. Number one key is identifying those mistakes. So just a real quick tip here on ball flight laws is that always know what you're correct, correcting and always look for your starting line and the way the ball is curved. Remember two big things when you're correcting your mistakes. Your club face angle determines the initial starting line of the ball and your club path or your swing direction determines where it lands. Now that means your path is determining the curvature of the golf ball. It impacts the spin, so therefore it's where it lands. So I have two alignment set, uh, sticks set up here. For example, if my club face was pointed down the yellow right there and my club path or swing direction was going down the red, I would have an open face cut because one's going this way, making the ball curve that way, but the initial starting line would be right, so it would go right to right. Much similar as if I had a closed club face going that way, that would create an, what you'd call a snap hook. So always remember, if you're trying to correct your club face angle, look, make sure to pay attention to your starting line. If it's starting right, that's your club face angle. It's going to the right. Now, if it's starting right and going right, then we have two corrections.